Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on using Ksp to calculate the solubility of a compound. K sub sp is the solubility product constant, and it's a K. It's an equilibrium constant. So at equilibrium, how much of this powder that you're putting in the water is actually going to dissolve into its ions, and how much is going to remain as a solid? That's what you're being asked. That's what K sub sp is. If you have a very high case of SP, like 10,000, you're going to have completely solubility or lots of solubility and very little powder. If you have a very low case of SP, like 10 and a negative 10 or something like that, then you're going to have mostly powder and almost none dissolved. So your case of SP is useful, but it's also a constant. It's an equilibrium constant, so it happens only at equilibrium. So you have to imagine your, the scenario where you're taking this stuff and you're putting it in water. At the very beginning, you're not going to have any ions. You're not going to have any magnesium or hydroxide. You're only going to have the powder. And then eventually it's going to dissolve. And at equilibrium, then you'll have as much as you're going to make. And so at that point, they're asking you how much is actually dissolving in the water. So first of all, I'm going to write a just a, a, a quick balanced equation where I'm going to start with magnesium hydroxide and it's going to break apart into its ions. So I'm going to first, first of all, that's a solid. And then it's going to break apart into Mg2. Magnesium is in group 2, so it oxidizes as a positive 2. And then I'm going to have two polyatomic ions. Let me scratch that. I'm sorry. I'm going to have two hydroxides. And hydroxide is a minus 1. It's a polyatomic ion. Now this 2 as a coefficient, do you see, because there's 2 here joining with one of these, each one of these negative 1s, it takes 2 negative 1s to, to balance with a positive 2. Um, this balanced equation, this coefficient is going to play into the solubility product. We're going to see that the solubility product, K sub SP, is going to be the concentration and molarity of the magnesium ion. Okay, so this is aqueous. This is aqueous. So these dissolve. And so you're going to have a concentration in the water. You're going to have a solution in the water with this raised to the first power because this is the coefficient of 1. And then this is multiplied times the hydroxide concentration raised to the second power because of that. Now, normally we would have a divided by line, and then this would be in the bottom of this equation. But this is a solid, so we're going to ignore it. It's acting just like a constant. These are the only thing that's actually in solution. So this is the entire SP. Now, I don't know the case of SP of magnesium hydroxide, but I can look it up. In the Alex Data Tape uh, tab, you can find this uh, listed, and it's going to be, so the case of SP of this equals 5.61 times 10 to the minus 12. So we know that's very insoluble, a uh, very low, low number, negative exponent. So very little of it's going to dissolve, but some of it is, and they're asking how much. Okay, So we're going to see that this number is going to go here. Now, if I knew the concentration of this, and I knew the concentration of this, then I could, you know, I could find whatever I'm looking for. But the problem is that at the beginning, I've got none of this. I have some powder, I put it in the water, and at that very instant, I've got none of this and none of this. This case of SP only works when these are at equilibrium. So I need to find out that what it is at equilibrium, and I'm going to do an ice table. Okay, I, I is initial. What's the initial concentration? Change. What's the change in concentration? And E, what are the concentrations at equilibrium? So I'm going to ignore this because it's solid. It's not going to participate but I am going to use these two. So I'm going to say the first one is magnesium, 2 plus, and the second one is going to be hydroxide. Okay. So at the beginning, initially, what's my concentration? Well, the second that I put this, this powder in, I'm going to have no, mol, no molar, con, zero molar concentration of magnesium and zero concentration of the hydroxide as well. Now what's going to happen as it dissolves? Okay, for every one of these molecules, for every molar amount of this, it's going to go away, and one of these is going to form. See, this breaks off, 
and there's one in this molecule, so this is going to be positive x. For every one that breaks apart, I'm going to get one of these. But can you see that if this breaks apart, I'm going to get two hydroxides for every molecule that goes away. So that means this is going to be positive x, okay? And this is going to be positive 2x. So for every, for every molecule of this salt that goes away, I'm going to get two hydroxide ions produced. Now add them up, and that's the equilibrium. Okay, so this is going to be x, and this is going to be 2x. All right, now this, are, this is my algebra, so I'm going to put it in this equation. So I'm going to put the x in for magnesium, and put 2x in for hydroxide, and I have K sub S P equals X times X to the one power times two X to the two. And so I'm gonna end up squaring two X, so this is two squared, which is four, X squared, which is X squared, times another X, and I have uh, K sub S P equals four X to the third power, okay? Now we know this number, so I'm going to write it in. 5.61 times 10 to the minus 12 equals 4x cubed. Okay, divide this by 4, then take the cube root of this, and I can solve for x. x equals 1.11935 times 10 to the negative 4. Now this is molarity, okay, and molarity is moles over liters. But they're asked for the solubility, and the solubility is how many grams dissolve in a liter. Okay, how many grams of the powder will dissolve in it? So I need to get rid of moles and go to grams. Well, grams per mole is just the molar mass. So I can go to Google and ask for the molar mass of, of magnesium hydroxide, and they give it to me. And I write it down. 58 point 3197 grams for every mole. Multiply that together, and I get 6.528 times 10 to the minus 3 grams per liter. And they want two significant digits, so it'll be 6.5 times 10 to the negative 3 grams per liter. I hope that helped you.